Welcome to Sayulita, a charming, colorful Pueblo Magico surfing town in Mexico. Located in the Riviera Nayarit, this town is famous for its boho cheek hippie vibes and it's only an hour north of Puerto Vallarta. But is it worth the visit? Stay tuned to the end of the video where I will share my experience and top tips for traveling to Sayulita. Hola amigos, this is Vidi with Vallarta Life where I show you tips and things to do here in Puerto Vallarta and surrounding areas. In this video, I'm taking you to Sayulita along with my friends who are visiting from the States. So let's get started. First tip on how to get to Sayulita, you can get here by taking an Uber or taxi. Just keep in mind that it is going to be a little bit pricier because if you're coming from Puerto Vallarta, you're going to be entering another state which is Nayarit. That's where Sayulita is. Your cheapest option is going to be taking the bus and you can also get here by renting a car or if you already have a vehicle, this is going to be the easiest way. It's super easy to drive and get there. Are your candies? Mm, mm, mm. Go like this if you like them. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll come back tomorrow and see what happens. <laughs> if I don't get diarrhea. <laughs> it all depends on what mom Susan says. <laughs> Even Mike got one. Mike, how's your uh, what is it? Alone. It's good. Diarrhea adventures. Diarrhea adventures. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to have like diarrhea because tomorrow's to trip is like five hours. Welcome to Sayulita. You can also take a tour that brings you here for the day like Vallarta Adventures has a tour and I believe there's several tours also on Airbnb experiences. I look like a big tourist with my big hat. with the little, the little flags in the background, the little colorful flag. All the cars parked on the river. And we are heading to the real flea market, Yangi's Mercado of Sayulita. Well, I braided your hair? Yeah, they'll do it here. This is really cool. This is cooler than the other area where people take pictures at. With the flag. This one's like way cooler because it's longer. It's pretty and it's clean too. Yeah, and the other one's always like packed with a bunch of people. Things to do in Sayulita, first of all, I would suggest surfing. If you're into surfing, this is what this town is famous for. They have classes for beginners too. So if you're interested in that, you can go do the surfing. There's also plenty, plenty of shops here 
in Sayulita. A lot of stuff is handmade by the local people, which is funny because a lot of the people that live here are actually from South America, from Europe, they're all over the place. Um, I feel like this town is not as Mexican as the other ones, but with that, it comes a lot of artistic people that create art, they create their own clothing, they create their own articles, and that is what you're going to see in a lot of the shops. They're, it's very interesting and it's very very nice to just walk around and see the different things uh, there's also i think atv tours i didn't do them but there's atv tours also there's hiking also close by to sayulita now the beaches they're not my favorite beaches they're okay i like the beaches south of vallarta better but you can always go and enjoy the beach also there's plenty of restaurants along the beach One thing I do want to let you guys know is that in Sayulita, there is hardly any AC in any of the restaurants or shops. Okay, this is legit a very boho, hippie town. We went, obviously, right now during the summer months, and it's super hot and humid. I would probably not recommend you guys go check it out during these months, maybe till like about November. If you don't mind the heat, you don't mind not having AC and just walking around in humidity and hotness, then go for it. If not, I probably would uh, recommend you guys go check it out after November. Gosh, finally getting in the truck and getting a seal. Oh my god, American Falls. <laughs> Nightlife in, in Tayolito. I think it's up there. Sayulita. Oh yeah, I always always think that that's basic. Like if you're gonna have an Airbnb, put a freaking shampoo, yeah. conditioner, body soap, yeah. and then they just give you the bar soap set, like chapia, but whatever. It's part of the experience. It's part of a Mexican experience. Welcome to Sayulita. And while the hara, they would only give you like one toilet paper, one, one little leaf, one roll, <laughs> one towel for five people. <laughs> no, for real, this happened to us one time. It happened to us at uh, I'm using it first. <laughs> now we just stay at hotels. Eh? In Guadalajara, they're pretty cheap. It was for four people. <laughs> That's right. Yes. Well, we, went, we came to a surfing town and nobody surfed. <laughs> we only had a day and a half. <laughs> Mark, you never woke up. Are we doing it on like. The waves look great though. What? What? There? Oh, there are titty mountains. Or like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> That's what it says there. It says titty mountains. No, it doesn't say titty mountains. It doesn't say titty Oh, so I repeated it. You think, copy it? Is it something similar, though? What does it say, Mike? I have no idea. I have a picture. 
Oh, the bump one. Yeah, the bumps with the lips. <laughs> you remember? It's the stop it. It says titties. It's called topless. Oh. Topless titty mountain. Titty mountain would have been better on there. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it has a nicer ring. It does sound better. Mountain titties. <laughs> this is the end of our Sayulita trip. Thanks for watching. Subscribe so you don't miss out my next video. We're heading to Tequila, Jalisco.